And for more news about space, we're joined via Skype by Weather Network correspondent and astronomy educator Andrew Vazakis. Thanks very much for joining us, Andrew. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. So have uh, scientists, they've, they've found the hottest planet to date. Where is it and how hot are we talking about? <laughs> this is a scorcher of a planet. It's really the, re uh, the record breaking in terms of temperatures. We're talking about a planet that's outside of our solar system. Uh, and it is about uh, 380 light years away from us. It's a, uh, it's a planet that has temperatures of 3,200 degrees on it. It is a really, it beats anything. I mean, compare that to Venus in our solar system, which is the hottest planet. That's only 460 uh, degrees Celsius on Venus. So this is a record breaker. Amazing. So what other features do we know about this planet? Is it, is it gaseous or rocky? Yes, well, what, what this is, it's a giant planet. It's, it's what we call a hot Jupiter. It's, uh, it's about one and a half to three times larger than the planet Jupiter in our solar system. So it's a gas giant, but it's very close to its parent star. In fact, it's a, it's a, it, it, a, a one day on this planet is only 29 hours. So you can imagine it's very, very close to it. And, and the star itself is hotter than our own sun. So that makes this planet really heat up. So it's a, it's a scorcher, definitely. And other researchers have found the smallest exoplanet. So first thing, what's an exoplanet? <laughs> well, what, what astronomers would they call an exoplanet is a planet that's outside of our solar system. And we've actually cataloged over 500 planets uh, orbiting other stars in, the, in our Milky Way galaxy. And this is the newest member that's going into the catalog. Uh, it's called Kepler 10b, and it sits about 520 light years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus, and it now holds the record as the smallest planet ever found outside of our solar system at only 1.4 times larger than the Earth. And this, this makes it, uh, uh, this is exciting because this is as close to an Earth-like planet that we've found so far. What are the similarities between the two? Well, uh, it is a rocky planet. By nature, being so small, only less than one and a half times the diameter of our planet, we think that it has a rocky surface on it. Now, the big difference is, is that it is very, very close to its parent star. It's actually uh, 20 times closer than Mercury is from our own sun. So this makes it a real scorcher uh, as well, it, uh, with uh, daytime temperatures reaching as much as 1,500 degrees Celsius. So its consistency, astronomers think, is more like an iron dumbbell. It's a very, very dense planet. But it's a, it's a rocky surface. It means that it's something that we could theoretically land a spacecraft on. Interesting. So scientists also seem to be concerned about suicide comets. Now, they, that sounds ominous. What are they? Right. Well, turning to our solar system, this made pretty big news uh, this, this past week. Uh, these suicide comets, there was a storm of small comets seen to bombard the sun just before Christmas over a 10-day 10, 10 period. And astronomers announced this week that they've never seen anything like that before. Uh, a, a satellite, a, a sun-watching satellite, actually saw house, basically house-sized uh, comets basically diving into the sun, but a swarm of them. Normally, the satellite sees one out of every, you know, every few days. But seeing 25 in less than 10 days is quite unprecedented. Interesting stuff. Andrew Fasekas, always great to talk to you. Thank you. My pleasure. For more about the discovery of the hottest known planet, you can go to ctv.ca.